guys. I don't know when I last filmed that clip, but I was reading the X hex. It was quite a long time ago, honestly, but I wanted to make a fall themed reading vlog and that book is perfect for that. So I'm just going to continue the reading vlog now. We're actually in October now and I'm reading The Final Gambit by Jennifer Lynn Barnes, the last book in the Inheritance Games trilogy. And I'm on page 247 and I actually am in the biggest reading slump of my reading hobby thus far. <laughs> I honestly feel like I have been blessed in not having a reading slump for almost a year and a half, I guess, of reading because I would just pace it out super well. But in August, I read like 20 books or 21 books. And then I think I just kind of burnt out and I just kind of like got through September. And I also read some books for videos in September. So I've been reading this book for like the past 10 days or something. And I just really had zero desire to read for a few days, but I've actually been enjoying reading it as of yesterday. So I'm going to hopefully finish it soon. I've also been taking bubble baths because I bought a bath tray and I can actually read in the bath now. So that's been so fun and so fall-y. So I really want to finish this book. And then I really want to get to Accidentally Amy by Lynn Painter, who's one of my favorite romance authors. And it's just such a fall book, but it's also super short. It's under 300 pages. So I feel like it's just gonna be perfect for getting me out of a reading slump. So I'm gonna keep reading The Final Gambit and hopefully it's really good. I'll keep you updated. Good morning. Is that what you do in your videos? Is that where I got it from? Good morning, CBS. Okay, I go, good morning, but I don't know where I got that. That's your thing. <laughs> <laughs> one personality trait I didn't steal. I do have some big book updates for you. I finished The Final Gambit. I had not finished a book for probably 12 days until I finished this. And it's been my worst reading slump, so that definitely affected my reading of this book because I can't even tell if I, if I liked it. Because I gave the first two books in the series five stars, and this one I enjoyed bit by bit very slowly, but I'm not really sure if I liked the whole plot line because at this point in the book, there were so many characters and I honestly had to fake it till I made it a little bit because I hadn't read the first two books since last year and I honestly forgot a ton of stuff and that was not good going into this book. So I feel like this was like a three and a half star, but the whole series is like five stars. So I don't know if my week had the impact on the star rating, you know? And then I started Accidentally Amy by Lynn Painter because I thought this would be a fun, fall romance book and I got about 70 pages in and I'm not going to continue reading it because I just am not in the mood for a romance book right now. I don't know. I was midway and I was like, you know what? I don't care about these characters and I don't care about any scenario in which they are going to interact. So I think I should stop reading it. So I'm finally reading Rock, Paper, Scissors by Alice Feeney. This is a thriller book and so many people I know in real life and on booktube have read it and given it five stars. So I'm so excited and it's also perfect for a reading slump because apparently every Every chapter ends with a cliffhanger and it's just a super good thriller book. So I'm actually currently on page 111. It's taken me a few days to get to this page. So I've been reading really slow uh, for me by my standards, but I don't mind it. So hopefully I get a lot of reading done today because it's Sunday and I'm just at home for the rest of the day. So it's really good so far. I really want to know what happens. So I think I'm going to end up trying to read it all. Okay, I just got to, it's the next day, by the way. I just got to the reveal on page 245 and it gave me chills. That was a really good twist. That's so good. That's so satisfying. I haven't read a thriller in so long and that's so fun. Wow, that was really smart. This is good. just finished it. That book was so good. It was so creepy. It was not a happy book and it was just tension and uneasiness throughout the entire thing. So I kind of want to go back and read this one just to be happy because that was so unsettling. But it was such a good thriller book if 
you want to read a fast paced thriller book. This was definitely amazing for a book slump. So if you're in a book slump, you should definitely read this. I think I'm going to give this 4.5 stars because I didn't, I mean, you're not really supposed to like the characters, but I didn't love the characters. So I'm not going to give it five stars, but I would, this is like on the top of the list for recommendations for thrillers. I would definitely say so. Yay. Hopefully this got me out of my book slump and I can go back to this one and finish it quickly. Perhaps we'll, We'll see. Good morning, guys. It's the next day. I actually got to page 100 of Accidentally Amy. I'm reinvested in the storyline, so that's good. I think every book has its time and place, and now I'm finally ready for a cheesy little romance book. So I only have 125 pages left, or 135. So I'm going to drink my coffee and read this. Morning reader pops. I read a lot of this yesterday and I got to page 217 and there's only 238 pages. So moving over here, it's cozier. So I'm gonna read the rest of it right now. And I'm very happy about that because that kind of means I'm out of my reading slump because I'm reading books at a normal pace again. Well, my normal pace. Everyone's normal is different, obviously. And then I'm very excited to read more books after this. So this is very good. You kind of watch me during this vlog be in the worst reading slump ever and actually get out of it. So The Final Gambit and Rock, Paper, Scissors are very good books for reading slumps. And this one, so short and fluffy. If you don't know, also, this book started as her just emailing chapter by chapter to her like newsletter people or something. I'm not really sure where it was. And then people really wanted her to make it into an actual physical book. So then she self-published this. So there's like some typos in it. It's obviously written chapter by chapter. So I'm sure her plot and characters were not like as fleshed out as they would have been if they were traditionally published um, because it was just like a newsletter book, you know? So I'm not judging it super highly. It's just a fun book because I love Lynn Painter and it's so fall-esque. So keeping that in mind. Okay, honestly, I think I'm gonna give this book a two and a half stars, but I didn't hate it, and that rating kind of makes it sound like I hated it, but it's not like a, I don't know how to explain it. It's cheesy, but it's also very like lusty, and those are just never my favorite romances. Like I love those soulmate kind of romance books, and this is just not that. It's just like a quick, fun, little, little romance book, you know? And some of the lines I didn't like, some of the scenes I didn't like, um, it's open door, so keep that in mind if you like open door, if you don't like open door. But yeah, just not really what I look for in a romance book, but I didn't have a bad time, you know? So yeah, two and a half stars for that one. I'm actually going to update my reading journal now because I haven't made any new spreads for October and I haven't updated my September spreads that much. So I need to like print out some of the books that I read in September and then make some new spreads for October, which is really exciting because I haven't done anything in here in a while. I need to update it. Let's do that. I'm going to print out like the mini versions of the books that I've read in September. And I just wanted to show you guys what I do because some people want to know the dimensions that I use. So I just go to Goodreads and then I type in the books that I read and download the picture from them because they usually have the most HD version of the book. Then I just put the book into Google Images and then I change the size. I make the width 0.87 and then that automatically makes the height 1.3 and then I just print them out. And cut it out. That's it. I'm gonna get all the stuff that I read for September and update this. If I ask you, don't hold back on me. Only
Okay, update on the reading journal. Here's the September spread. I showed you that and then I went back and filled in a bunch of other stuff. And then this is what I came up with for my October TBR. And then I'll fill out the books that I've read on the other side. That's the reading journal update. And I think this is possibly a shorter reading vlog. But now that I'm back in the swing of reading, I'll be posting more reading vlogs. So don't you worry. I'll be posting like I usually do on my Instagram stories and my TikTok if you want to follow me on there or my main channel. But other than that, I will see you guys on somewhere else on the internet. I'm having an allergy attack. I'm going to leave. Goodbye. Love you. That was a different noise that I usually make.